What is up, guys? It is HG Urza here, bringing you my first match on the Supremacy DLC maps. Um, first match up here is Skyrise. I am so excited they brought freaking High Rise back to like brought it to Advanced Warfare. Fucking High Rise was one of my favorite two uh, favorite maps. It was one of my favorite three maps of MW2. Honestly, I kind of wish they would bring back more. MW2 maps. There were some pretty good MW2 maps. Um, I don't know. It's been a while since I've done the commentary, so it kind of sounds weird when I talk about it. So. But honestly, <laughs> I did notice that the spawn shot was a little bit harder to hit this time, and I barely missed it right there. Um, but. But, um. One, this map, like, this is one of my favorite three maps. I've been, like, it's not my favorite map of the Supremacy DLC because I've played it way too much. To be honest, like, when I was trying to record and get my first match on every map, I played Skyrise three times before I ever tried any of the other maps. I was like, come on now. Um, and for once, I actually play with friends. Like, for instance, my friend uh, Shadow Rider joins Sesh and, you know, kills me. Or not kills me, but, uh, Steal his final kill for me when I was trying to get it. He stole like about every other kill. You're gonna see that towards more towards the end. But um, one thing I want to talk about besides just what my thought. Okay, I first want to get my thoughts of the map on the way. Honestly, it doesn't let they change much on the map. The map pretty much has its consistency except for the fact that we're using exos now. You know, except for that, it makes it a little more harder. Meaning, I probably won't like this uh, map on search because this was one of my favorite search and destroy maps. But being with the Exos, yeah, that's kind of a thing that is going to make it harder. But, you know, I don't complain um, about that. Oh, and some spectacular news for anyone on my friends list that's watching this. That, if, you know, if you're one of the ones that cried about... You know, I'm, I'm going to be mean about this. But uh, if you're one of the ones that was crying about Black Ops 3 not being on 360 PS3, well, you can shut up now because... They just announced, they recently announced that it will be on Xbox 360 and PS3. The only thing it won't be on, however, is Wii U, of course. Which, you know, I'm sorry for those people that play Wii, play, played like ghosts and shit on the Wii U. But, I mean, like, I'm, I'm a Nintendo fan, but I would not play Call of Duty. I would not play Call of Duty on this side. I'm doing a video, Coda, can you leave? But I would not play Call of Duty on the Wii. That's just my opinion. And I wouldn't even play Call of Duty on PC, but that's all because I would suck at it way too much. That and um, modders. I really think it'd be modded the hell out of way too quickly. As you can see, I can't get a. I mean, it's hard for me to get a kill with my gun. Like, I don't know. Like, honestly, I should not have got that kill right there. As you see, I'm starting to play a little more carefully, trying to. I was really trying to go for my scorcher and I get sniped out of nowhere. I didn't even know where the kid was. As you see too, my uh, royalty camo keeps glitching out and going to this straight yellow for some reason. But anyway, like I said, y'all quit complaining. It's been announced. Even though in my opinion, a lot of y'all said they would lose a lot of money if they did and lose a lot of, you know, fans. And I'm like, well, I mean, Xbox One's been out for like, what is it? I think it's like two years or so now. I think I might be wrong. I just recently got my one in PS4. I really didn't pay attention to next gen because I really didn't want next gen until you know games started coming out for them. But I might be wrong. I might be a little bit more than that. But um, it just if I don't know, time flies nowadays. I can't keep track of time no more. But um, I think it was in Scotia. Yeah, so it's been out for about like a year or so. A year or so. I might be wrong again. But anyway, the point is, is that. Services, I don't know if it's doing the same for PS3. I mean, I have a PS4, but I don't keep up with PlayStation that much. But, I mean, I, I don't know. Is the, If the PlayStation 3, tell me in the comments if the PlayStation 3 service is shutting down. But, you gotta think of it this way, guys. Sure, not all of us have the money for, you know, you know, some of us are lucky enough to get an Xbox One and PS4. The reason I have both of mine is because of a tax refund. My, you know, taxes at the end of the year. That's the only reason I have mine. I mean, putting together... You know, my PS4 with a free game, my Xbox One, and I think and Dying Light with the Xbox One, that cost me a little over $900. I only got like 
five hundred something with my tax refund, and you know, spent the rest of the for the money I'd been saving up for it. But um, yeah, and that was just for that. Like I just got a regular Xbox One. I don't have one of the ones with Connect either, which I kind of wish I did, in a sense, because I want the um, I would love to live stream a little more. I live stream single player. My internet sucks too much to live stream though. Is what sucks. Um, but I know not all of us have the money for it, but I mean, services for the Xbox 360 and I think the PS3 as well are shutting down within like the next year or two. So what's what would be what would be the point of having a game that you're only gonna play? Like to be honest, I really hope when Black Ops 3 comes out, a lot of the people, a lot of my favorite YouTubers that do nothing but Black Ops 2 will literally get off of Black Ops 2 and go on. Like, I mean, I know not everyone likes Advanced Warfare. I mean, I like Advanced Warfare. And a lot of people say they're not going to get Black Ops 3 because of the futuristic shit. No one wants the futuristic shit. But yet, there's still so many people. There's more people playing Advanced Warfare than Ghost. I know that's not the right comparison, but I guarantee I can compare it to MW2 and 3. And still, Advanced Warfare would have more players than both of them. For instance, because those were two great Call of Duties. I loved MW2 and 3. Not 3, not so much as MW2, but you know, you, you catch my drift. Is that you can't, like, that, there's one thing I hate about game developers and such. I know, I know I'm kind of jumping from topic to topic, but I, best, I guess it's best to keep, you know, going on my thoughts on stuff and just letting it roll as I'm going along. You know, I should start preparing a script before I do these videos, but, um, I mean. This, one thing I hate about game development is like I want to grow up. I want to. Well, I mean, I ignore I said that I'm already grown up, but I want to. Actually, you know, I, you know, I'm not grown up. <laughs> I mean, I am. Old, I I am a decent age, but you know, I'm still not grown up. There's no way. I, I I don't feel like I'm grown up. Still feel like I'm a young teenager when I'm a young adult. But you know, you, you catch my drift. Of what I was trying to say. I shot that thinking that was not blown up yet. But, um, um, what was I saying? Like, when I, what I wanted to do when I got older, ever since high school, like, the beginning of high school, I wanted to go into game design. I wanted to learn how to make, like, from where, I, I don't just, I know most of my videos are Call of Duty, but I don't just play Call of Duty. I play games like Dark Souls, I play Halo, I play Skyrim, I play a lot of those games, but I just never do videos over them, because I don't know how to make interesting videos over those. But, um, because that's just my opinion. But, um, uh, like, what I, don't, I like, I see how people act towards video games nowadays. I see how, now I'm, I'm not talking about the people that hate on gamers, I'm talking about the people that buy video games, the ones that sit here and that sit here and, you know, complain, like, oh, this game. I'll blow all. I see. There's my friend joining. I think I can't see the name. Too small. But um, seeing. Oh my god, this game's so bad. You know, it's unfinished. Blah blah. And it's like, I guarantee only like 20% of the people, like of the video game, like of the um, the video ga game. Only like 20% of gamers know exactly what time and the process, all that takes to make video games. Like, no one really knows, I guess, what goes into these video games. All the hard work and time and money. You gotta think of that, too. Money. Y'all sit here and call these companies money grubbing. Uh, that, that, that's all they do is grub, being money grubbers. Well, I mean, if they didn't have that money, then they wouldn't have what they need to make the game. That's just my thing. And here's where a bunch of my kills get start getting stolen, by the way. I know this video is kind of close, but you, you, you guys get my point in a sense. Like... The way gamers are nowadays, it kind of makes me sick. You know, seeing how they always complain. They never take appreciation of what's there. Anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video on my random ranting. I know I kind of stopped mid sentence, but, you know, the video is almost over. So, um, anyway, guys, this is H.G. Urza signing out, and there's my freaking bitch of a friend still in a kill. Love you, Shadow. Hope you're seeing this. Um, anyway, see you guys. Peace out.